All right, so I'm making this quick video just to show everyone exactly what to expect in a Total Tuning Edition Max case and go over every single connection so that we can set it up properly. So this is exactly how your case will arrive. There may be some special cables that I provide in your particular install, just depending on what we go over, what DSP you have, etc. Let's talk about First and foremost, we've got a USB extension. This is a 17 foot USB extension. We'll be using this for any time we need to extend the USB. There's a couple of extenuating circumstances where I may provide a USB repeater that's a powered one versus this is a passive one. We have a black USB, it's kind of like a printer cable to USB. This is what's gonna connect Max to the computer running tune. We have a total tuning sticker. That's for when you're happy, you can apply that to your car. Uh, these are some directions, just in case you want to read a little bit more about exactly how everything is. Inside here, we have a spare set of RCAs. This is completely redundant. This is not necessary for 99% of my tunes. Just in case the optical breaks or has, you know, we have trouble getting to it or anything like that, I do provide RCAs as a backup way to get signal. We have a microphone array. I have a specific way I have this set up, but this is the microphone array. Let's hop in here for a second. We have a optical cable, 17 foot optical cable. I'll put that to the side for now. We have one spare microphone. This is a redundancy microphone just in case uh, we have any problems with any microphones during setup. We have a baggie. This has five microphones in it. This is what we're going to attach to the microphone array and I have explicit pictures showing exactly how this is set up. We have a microphone holder. This is a headrest setup. I have a very, very detailed video on my Facebook channel showing exactly how to set this up, so I won't be going over that in this video. And then last piece is we do have a JL Max. Now the Max is very easy to set up. We have five microphone inputs, color coordinated, very, very, very easy to use. We're not going to pay attention to the high levels and we're not gonna pay attention to the reference input. These are for other functions that involve Max because it is a measurement tool, but we're not going to be using those for the standard total tuning service. We are gonna be plugging in a few different cords to this side, however. So we have the provided optical cable. That optical cable is gonna go from the output of Max directly into whatever processor we're tuning via Arc, Helix, Moscone, or JLVXI. It's gonna go directly from Max output straight into the input. Again, if we can't get to the optical output, we're gonna have an RCA backup, but this is our primary. The reason for this is because it helps reject noise, which I can go over at another time. I do this just to save an extra step. Next in line, we have the device connection section of Max. This is going to be where we plug in the black printer cable style, and then we're gonna plug this USB side into the computer. That's gonna be necessary so that we can see the data that Max is measuring. This is gonna be plugged directly into the computer running JL Tune software. You will have to have that downloaded on the computer prior to the actual tune. If you are running JL Audio VXI amplifiers, you would plug them into the USB hub area. So this is how we're going to interface our JL Audio amplifiers specifically. If you're running Helix, Moscone, or Arc, you are not going to use this section. Next, we have a power plug. This power plug is located right here. This is the 110 version, so this is going to plug into your wall. If you have any questions on that, it's pretty straightforward, but I'd be happy to answer them. We do have a backup. The backup is a car, car plug. So again, I don't prefer that one, but it is a backup just in case for whatever reason. Once we have this set up, this is going to be our primary measuring device. Uh, if we have a non-JL Audio DSP, such as an ARC, Helix, or Moscone processor, 
those are going to be tuned using a, another computer or a second screen, again, depending on what we talk about during the introduction and discussion of your system and tune. Basically, that's the setup. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is set up max, plug in power, give signal directly to your processor, and plug this into a computer. The last uh, DSP-related thing is just figuring out whether we have a JLVXI, plug it directly into Max, or if we do not, we would have a second computer or a second screen running the Helix, Moscone, or Arc softwares. If you have any questions on how to set this up, I go over all of this during setup. We normally set up a 30-minute phone consultation just to specifically work on setup, making sure all the cables are correct, making sure the microphones are set up correctly because that is critical to the process of setting up the microphones exactly as I tell you. I will have, again, very detailed pictures showing exactly how to set those up. If we have any other setup-related questions, feel free to reach out to me, uh, either on social media or on my email. Email is jeffrey, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y, at totaltuningusa.com. You do have access to my website as well. There's a contact tab on there. You do have access to my social media. Again, contact via direct messenger. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Until then, signing out.